Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna DJ it up a little bit. We're in Matthew 1. We just figured out a few things. Let's give our offering and begin the tour. Welcome at 420 Bible Study to the temple420.org tour. Tour, tour. Uh, you can't Moses stood. They all do good. It's funny because the laws are there and do we obey the laws? I don't really think anybody really pays attention anymore. We've been told something that there's a God in heaven who loves you. Not according to this book necessarily unless you're obeying what he says. Can you believe that Father sent the Son as the anointed one? The holy anointing oil, the branch, the righteous branch. That's what we're learning. So as we learn our family tree, let's look into the names, get familiar with the names, because we're going to hear them later on, or we're going to hear them earlier on. Because if you look at the scripture as a play, it's a play on words. This is the cast of characters. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Judah, and his brothers. So there you have God is the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Great. Judah, which here becomes the line of Judah, the line of Jesus. So when it uses Israel, it's talking about Jacob. When it uses Judah, it's talking about Jesus. So it continues the line to a different name, though God changed the name. So Judah was the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab the father of Nishan, Nishan the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz. Now there's a name we sounds familiar. Boaz I think was Ruth, right? So Salmon, or Sal Salmon, it's real close to Solomon, but it's Salmon, was the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Now, Rahab was the one who protected the two spies and hid them in a certain type of brush. We'll get to that story. It's a good one. You can go flip back to that story. So, Boaz was the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. So, it's Boaz and Ruth. And they're the father of Obed. And then Obed is the father of Jesse. And Jesse is the father of King David. So you have the first seven coming from, I think it's seven, if I remember correctly. You have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and then Judah coming from the 12 tribes. And then the line continues all the way to Boaz, Obed, because of Ruth and Boaz. And then you get Jesse, and Jesse to the father of King David, who rejoices with the oil of joy, Psalm 45, 6. So now that we have some definition and names, we understand when David says, rejoice with the oil of joy, he's talking about giving offering, praise God, raise, give thanks. Everything has to do about giving offerings to God. So David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. And that's really interesting, and we'll get into the story. We'll do a flip on that, because Uriah was his battle mate, his front linesman, but he set him up for failure, not success. All right. Rokashab. <laughs> 